Tonight, a major medical milestone being celebrated this week at Intermountain Medical Center, 25 years of the Artificial Heart Program. It's a program that's helping patients like one Hooper man buy time with his family. I got struck by lightning, and that started my whole heart problem situation. So from then on, it started going downhill. 79-year-old Richard Morse has survived a lot since that lightning strike. His wife, Elaine, says he had his first heart attack at 38. Two years later, he had bypass surgery. 20 years after that, another bypass surgery. After 25 years, his heart was tired. And they said, you know, your only way that you can live is to get a nail bed. I've had it for 10 years and one month. But pretty special, you know. I've uh, got to see my family grow, and I've got a brand new great grandson, and we do a lot of traveling. That go and do attitude is what keeps Richard going day in and day out. I just do and go whenever and whatever I please to do, you know. It really was a blessing when I first got it. It's got its ups and downs. Uh, I have a 25 foot tether cord when I go to bed at night. I also have to use a, cow a shower kit. His wife says despite some inconvenience, to see how technology has evolved the past 10 years is amazing. When he first got it, the batteries would last four hours, and now they last 14 hours. And they wouldn't trade the additional memories. Because without it, we would have had months at the most. As it's really bought me the time for my family. Richard and Elaine say they consider the doctors and other staff at Intermountain Medical Center family. Richard's one of only 50 people in the country to live 10 years or more with an LVAT.